We are back, everyone. Gonna do the Hendersonville route of this drive. Okay. Now that we do not have a trailer, we're gonna see how it functions. Okay, it thinks people want, want to walk by. Uh, see me, we have a network issue. And see if it goes fast out of here. Yeah, see right there. It lost traction and then it accelerates super quickly for no reason. You know, so that to me is unacceptable. Like to be doing that, it said that was going to be improved in uh, this version. It said it was going to affect the way acceleration worked. Unless I misread that, I misunderstood said it. But I'm pretty sure that was supposed to happen. Now this is improved finally. That oh, that, I've been waiting for that for a long time. It finally correctly angled itself here because right, right here, another car can slip by and then turn. You're normally the car would angle this way and then the other car couldn't get by and so it'd be blocking the road So now it correctly angled the right way and it has its correct speed limit here now interesting Well, we'd obviously have to test that multiple times but um But yeah, that's that is an interesting change also it still sped up the 37 even though we're in a 25 still so I don't know we're on a average profile so that very well could be why I'm still on the fence if that actually plays a role on the speed currently it should in the future like it needs to in the future but we'll see okay we got a blinking yellow which just is a caution that means to be cautious through this intersection here doesn't mean you have to stop so it's, the car is super hesitant right here and it made it through the last version did this roundabout great and oh, last uh, yesterday actually with the trailer and did, did it great yeah that was great behavior slowed down and it's just ever so slightly faster this is really good that felt really good. That's like, that really, really good. That's exactly how I want, wanted it to perform. That's great. See how it does get in this intersection. It should smoothly get over just like this. Great. That was great. That's exactly what it should be doing. And see if it's gonna go through this intersection here. It needs to. It needs to commit if it's gonna go. Okay. I'm glad it stopped. That's really good behavior. I think this version probably what it did is it improved unprotected the lefts because the last version did have some hesitancy with the unprotected the lefts. After this red car, it can start creeping now. Yeah. So I would have creeped a little bit sooner than that. But that was great, great behavior. Like this is doing really well today. The only thing that can be improved, in my opinion, is it accelerates far too quickly from from those stops. Yep, super good behavior on that turn. And this is doing really well. This is like. So it really must have been the trailer causing the hesitancy yesterday. Like it, it never was this big of a difference previously, but today is doing really well. Like it even slows down for these railroad tracks here. Like it could speed back up a little bit, but this is a fine speed. to 
get over here, smooth changeover. And is it gonna do a smooth compound maneuver changing over here? And it does. Let's see if it's gonna park on the side of the street. Oh no, it's gonna turn up this way. Well, we have to... Oh, we're ended it. <laughs> and actually, let's see if it's gonna park. We've never tried this. Park there. Yeah, we've never done this. Supposedly, this is a lot faster in this version. Which, I have to agree, this is actually usable. The last version, I tried it one time off camera. And it's just so slow. Like, this is actually... I didn't need to do that, but okay. Whatever it, whatever it thinks it's doing. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess that worked. Okay, well, we're gonna pause right here, and then I'll bring us back. Gotta route this one to turn on the AC. And, um... Uh, Look at that. So I thought the park parking did pretty good. Let's see, can I start it in the parking lot? That's the correct way to go. But it's not gonna... Ah. There we go. I'm gonna start doing stuff like this, but the normal test route starts in the road. There's a big pothole right there. I don't know if it tried to avoid that or not. Okay, got in the road. Normally I start it right here. Yeah, we're still kind of going in the parking spot here, but, yeah, I don't know if that matters too much. Okay, I don't know if that person waved, or if that was a flower in the window. But that was, an, that was a more complicated interaction, I'd say, because we kind of arrived at the same time to that intersection. And I wonder if we're still doing the festival whatever is going on oh yeah this was an antique show this weekend that's right I don't know we'll find out okay why are we okay I think it's stopping because it hasn't rerouted yet okay could stop at stop stoplights. I've always missed these stoplights before, so the car does a pretty good job at no know, knowing the stop what where the stoplights are, are on this road. Oh, why did it swerve like that? I'm not sure. Um, and it seems just more timid going down down Main Street here. This is the most timid in a long time it's ever been on Main Street. Normally it's just really assertive going on here, which is good because there's a lot of people around. It should be a little bit more timid like this. But the random swerve like that, I'm not sure why it did that. Last time we went down here was with the kayak on the roof and I think we determined that the rope in front of the car and the front of the camera caused, caused it to occasionally swerve, only at low speeds though. I put this, oh man, I put this at the wrong, oops. Put it at the wrong one. My bad, everyone. It's supposed to go straight here. Let's see if we can get it to go in this parking lot right here. Okay. Well, I can't. I don't want to save a screenshot. Because that's what it led law. State law, we're supposed to go. But I, there's something wrong with the network right now. I think it's a bug. This version is pretty buggy compared to past versions. And it just, nothing loads. I get some bit on John. Oh, shut up. Okay. Yeah, see, it's not gonna, it's also not going to, like, it doesn't know how to get in that parking lot. Hey, so I'm gonna have to Disney Guys to get in the parking lot. But yeah, unfortunately, that, besides not waiting for the pedestrians right there, this was the um, best it's ever been. For, like, without doubt. It's because it didn't wait for the pedestrians. Oh, also, let's try something else. It can't back in here. By, by law, it can't back in. 
I wish I could leave feedback. You can't back into... Um, oh, that's weird. Okay. There's a sign right there. Backing into space is prohibited. We'll, we'll pull into the space right here so you can read it. Right there. Backing into spaces is prohibited. I almost got a ticket. They left me a, a notice on my car to go, when this first got enabled last year. And I almost got a, got a warning. And you can't back into these spaces. That's an edge case. How is the car going to handle that? Think about it. It has to be able to read that sign and know it can't back into a space here. It has to pull in. Yeah, I don't know. Do you tell me what you think? That's, that's an edge case. Let me know what you think down below, everyone. See you in the next video.